Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important endocrine disorder known as adrenal insufficiency. What causes it? What are the warning signs? How is it diagnosed and treated? If you're a nursing student, healthcare professional, or just curious about how the body works, this video will explain everything you need to know in clear, simple terms. Let's get started. What is adrenal insufficiency? Adrenal insufficiency is a condition where the adrenal glands don't produce enough of certain essential hormones, particularly cortisol and, in some cases, aldosterone. The adrenal glands are small, triangular organs located above each kidney. They are part of the endocrine system and are responsible for producing hormones that regulate metabolism, the immune system, blood pressure, and stress response. There are two main types of adrenal insufficiency. One primary adrenal insufficiency, Addison's disease, the adrenal glands themselves are damaged and can't produce enough hormones. Two secondary adrenal insufficiency the pituitary gland doesn't release enough ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone, which stimulates the adrenal glands. There's also a rarer form called tertiary adrenal insufficiency, caused by issues in the hypothalamus. Functions of Adrenal Hormones To understand adrenal insufficiency, it's important to know the role of the main hormones involved. Cortisol, helps the body respond to stress, regulates metabolism, controls inflammation, and maintains blood sugar levels. Aldosterone, helps regulate blood pressure by managing sodium and potassium levels. Adrenaline and noradrenaline, support the fight or flight response. When cortisol levels are too low, it disrupts many body systems, leading to the symptoms we'll discuss next. Causes of Adrenal Insufficiency Primary Adrenal Insufficiency, Addison's Disease Autoimmune Damage, Most Common Cause Tuberculosis Fungal Infections Cancer Metastasis Genetic Conditions, Such as Congenital Adrenal Hyperplasia Surgical Removal of Adrenal Glands Secondary Adrenal Insufficiency Pituitary Tumors Surgery or Radiation to the Pituitary Long-term Use of Corticosteroid Medications, Which Suppress ACTH Production Traumatic Brain Injury In both forms, the adrenal glands ultimately produce insufficient cortisol, which is vital for survival. Risk Factors People at higher risk include those who Use corticosteroids, like prednisone, long term Have autoimmune diseases, like type 1 diabetes or hypothyroidism Have had pituitary surgery or brain radiation Have a family history of adrenal insufficiency Signs and Symptoms Symptoms may appear gradually or suddenly in an emergency known as adrenal crisis. Key symptoms include Chronic fatigue Muscle weakness Loss of appetite and weight loss Nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain Low blood pressure, especially when standing, orthostatic hypotension Salt craving Darkening of the skin, hyperpigmentation, especially in Addison's disease. Low blood sugar, hypoglycemia. Irritability or depression. In adrenal crisis, symptoms can become life-threatening and include Sudden pain in lower back or abdomen. Severe vomiting or diarrhea. Dehydration. Very low blood pressure. 
loss of consciousness. This is a medical emergency and requires immediate treatment. Diagnosis Adrenal insufficiency is diagnosed through a combination of 1. Blood tests Low cortisol levels High ACTH, in primary, low ACTH, in secondary Low sodium, high potassium, especially in Addison's disease 2. ACTH stimulation test Measures how the adrenal glands respond to synthetic ACTH. If cortisol doesn't rise, adrenal function is impaired. 3. Insulin tolerance test. Tests both adrenal and pituitary function. 4. Imaging. CT or MRI of adrenal glands or pituitary gland to find structural problems. Accurate diagnosis helps distinguish between primary and secondary adrenal insufficiency, which is crucial for effective treatment. Treatment Treatment focuses on replacing the missing hormones. 1. Glucocorticoid replacement Usually hydrocortisone, prednisone, or dexamethasone is given to replace cortisol. Doses may be increased during physical or emotional stress, illness, or surgery. 2. Mineralocorticoid replacement Fludrocortisone is used in primary adrenal insufficiency to maintain sodium and blood pressure levels. 3. Androgen replacement Sometimes DHEA is prescribed to improve mood and sexual function, especially in women. 4. Emergency care for adrenal crisis Requires immediate 4 fluids, glucose, and high-dose hydrocortisone. Patients are advised to wear a medical alert bracelet and carry an emergency injectable steroid kit. With lifelong hormone replacement and proper management, most people with adrenal insufficiency can live normal, healthy lives. Patient Education and Self-Care Patient education is a vital part of treatment. Never stop corticosteroids suddenly tapering is essential. Carry identification medical alert ID is crucial. Know the signs of adrenal crisis seek emergency help immediately. Monitor for illness or stress increase steroid dose during illness, surgery, or trauma. Keep regular follow UPS hormone levels must be monitored. Avoid dehydration and infections. Patients are also encouraged to maintain a balanced diet, manage stress, and avoid activities that can lead to injury or infections. Conclusion Adrenal insufficiency is a serious but manageable condition when diagnosed and treated correctly. Early recognition of symptoms and lifelong hormone replacement therapy can prevent complications like adrenal crisis. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more medical and health content. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below. Stay informed, stay safe, and take care.